I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm on board a very special 2016 Legacy 36 named Grand Duck. Grand Duck was built out new by her owner, who's a very experienced boater, and therefore there's tons of really awesome custom features that set this boat apart from the rest. She's got the upgraded Cummins 550 horsepower engine, uh, proportional bow and stern thrusters, the Northern Lights generator, and just all types of little bits and pieces that I'll show you throughout the boat. So let's go take a look around. All right, so we'll start the walkthrough here on the dock. Grand Duck sits here on her lift in Boca Grand, Florida. It's a gorgeous day. And the first thing that stands out is really how well kept this boat is for being in the Florida sunshine. Varnish looks great. The flag blue paint job is extraordinary. Take a look back here at the swim platform. She does have the opening transom door there in the middle. That center seat comes out for a walkthrough transom door. And then we've got these awesome little half doors here to prevent climbing over the gunnels. It's really easy to get on and off this boat from really any fixed or floating dock. Big spacious cockpit here, which is big feature of the 36 is the cockpit being ex extended two feet as well as the pilot house um, from the Legacy 32. So we've got the aft settee here, seating three, and then the two aft facing seats. Um, back here in the corner, you'll notice this mount is for a sunshade. Uh, goes into the back of the hard top there, giving you a nice sun cover here in the aft cockpit. Up top there, you'll see the Garmin rear facing camera. We've got another one down in the engine room. Head up to the bow here. Really nice wide walk arounds. You'll see I've got a handhold here to starboard, another one here, and one up top. Really easy to get around this boat, no matter your mobility. And up to the bow, we've got a quick windlass, stainless steel chain. There's a anchor wash down here. And your foot pedals, you've also got a, a remote switch at the helm. Beautiful looking boat, very well polished. I'll get up close here and show you the varnish and gel coats all in very nice condition. And there's our spotlight, radar, anemometer. Got the sun cover on here on the starboard side so we can see the pilot house a little easier. And into the pilot house, we've got our L shaped settee to port and the bench to starboard. You can really feel that extra couple of feet in here and here's our folding table really nice for dining table play a game of cards and she's got the twin stid helm seats and now we'll start getting into some of the Custom options here. We've got the Garmin multifunction chart plotters. One here. We've got a duplicitous screen over here. The owner is big into 
uh, multiple systems. Um, so this chart plotter is goes to one depth sounder and this one goes to another um, for full duplicity. Here's our autopilot. Um, we also have autopilot remote so you can sit back in your chair and not lean forward to hit the button. And right next to that mounted are our remote engine switches or uh, sorry remote battery switches so both thrusters generator engine and house battery and outboard here we've got our proportional bow and stern thruster with the hold feature this is one of the better options you can get and this was uh, definitely pushed for by the owner um, so you can feather each one in and out of the dock um, the zip wake trim tabs interceptor trim tabs and then we've got our multiple data screens there that's our uh, windless remote and then up top is the Garmin VHF radio and here is the remote for the spotlight and right here is a really cool feature that we don't see much on uh, smaller boats this is kind of a mega yacht thing but so we've got the outline of the boat here and um, these little LED lights light up um, when each uh, system that it's associated with is on. So we've got our anchor light up top, the navigation lights, uh, the engine room blower fans, and then more importantly these three down below are the three bilge pumps. So our forward, mid, and aft. Um, this is important because if you're running the boat and driving along and um, you might not know that you're, you wouldn't know that you're um, bilge pump is going off maybe more often than it should so you can look up here this light will be going on and off every time the the bilge pump goes and can uh, know that you might have an issue a lot sooner with that and the port is a chart table really awesome cherry chart table there and we'll head down below Now down below here on the 36 is really awesome. This is just such a great couples cruising layout. We've got our galley here to port with stainless steel sink, freezer, lots of storage up top for you know, coffee makers and cups and bowls. Uh, under here is our double burner stove and the Vitrofrigo fridge, drawer style fridge. Up top is the microwave, our Fusion Bluetooth radio, all of our battery gauges, tank gauges, as well as the Mastervolt inverter charger gauge and our remote uh, on off switch for the Northern Lights generator. You can see there 175 hours. Um, the engine has 400 hours. She's the Cummins 550. I'll show you that in the engine room here in a minute. Um, some more storage. And the big Center Island Queen berth. Really easy to get around. Awesome storage here. We've got cedar line lockers. Take a look inside these. And cedar line there. And the Vizio flat screen TV. And one of the better features of this Legacy 36 is the head with separate shower stall. Not extremely common on a boat of this size, but really helps to extend your couple's cruising. It makes you able to go from one or two nights to uh, longer, five, five days to a week without having to get a hotel room or shower at the marina. Really nice storage here.
and we'll take a look at the engine room now. So it takes less than 30 seconds to pop the table off, fold the rug up. Um, we've got two dogs here holding the engine hatch down and really awesome. Just hit that electric switch. And she's actually quite a bit faster than most of the engine hatches that you'll see on similar single engine down east cruisers. So pop that up. And this is the upgraded Cummins 550. The boat cruises in the low 20s. Uh, she'll top out in the mid 20s. And she's very fuel efficient. We'll hop down here. Really good access here, either side. If my camera will do what it's supposed to do. Uh, you'll see back there is the Reverso oil change pump, dual rake ore, fuel filters. Um, here is our Northern Lights generator, water filter, and coming around to our breaker panel. And this is engine room lights, that'll be helpful. Intakes, C strainers. Here's our master volt inverter charger. I'll take you around here to the other side. See the tankage. Mounted outboard saddle tanks, batteries, AGM batteries up top there, got our exhaust system, some more batteries, and then here is our PSS shaft seal, looking good, rule bilge pumps, float switch, ZF transmission, and mounted over here you'll see that little black uh, sensor here is the Siren Marine system, this is another one of the Really cool customizations on board. So the owner can monitor all of the important functions on the boat from his phone. So um, basically you're sitting at home and notice that a bilge pump's going off or the battery voltage drops down. Um, you know, you know what's going on in your boat at all times. Really awesome safety feature. Uh, mounted up forward there, you can see the Garmin engine room camera. And I think it's important we never I'll show you the inside of these generator housings. And, you know, this is a big part. A lot of people never even open these up. Um, she looks great. Again, 175 hours, so not a whole lot of usage, but still it's pretty easy to just turn these on and forget about them. If you have any questions about this Legacy 36, please feel free to reach out to me directly with the contact information below the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.